Story now changing the face of the passenger bus industry and making strides in uncharted territory. That's the mission of the Wazulu Natal cooperative, uh, cooperatives rather, that hope to make a name of themselves by running buses in rural areas. In the transport sector, black people are dominant in the taxi industry, with very few taking part in the passenger bus sector. Mawanda Keswa takes a look at just how they're making it work. Transformation in the transport sector may be lagging, but cooperatives in rural KZN say this is changing one kilometer at a time. They're infiltrating the bus sector, largely dominated by Indian and white people. Fifteen million rand funding saw them buy eight buses paving the way to repay that loan and build a 3.5 million rand bus depot in Escort, northern KZN. So what's behind this success story? The cooperative with 75 members employs 40 young people from nearby communities with over 10 years' experience in the taxi and bus industry combined. A few kilometers away, Malmoth has its own cooperative operating in the same space. Ntonjaneni also got a kickstart with 26 million rand. It has 36 members and employs 37 experienced people within the industry. And it appears getting their hands dirty has paid off. But there are challenges. And driver competency is top of mind. A measure that the community is loading. Financial bankers are just as pleased. We always want the people from taxi industry to get into all transport value chain. So we hope one day they'll be able to own the trains and they'll be able to own the planes as well. These cooperatives have shown that hard work and dedication, coupled with financial support, can go a long way. Mawande Keswa, Northern Guazulu Natal.